Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to iMind Blocks. So today's video I'm going to share something quite cool with you. So you guys might be aware of or heard of Bitcoin and the Lightning Network. So in today's video I'm going to share with you a quick Lightning uh, demonstration and then if you're really interested you can watch the rest of the video where I'll show you how to get set up and get a Lightning wallet set up on your mobile phone. So that's actually using a wallet called the Eclair wallet. So it's a really cool, simple wallet. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration now. And um, if you like what you see, then you can continue on. So this is what a Lightning um, transaction looks like. So we've got a Space Invaders game. We press spacebar, it gives us a QR code. And then I've got the Eclair wallet. It's already opened up. It's actually currently uh, syncing. So we scan the payment, which is that one there, and then we pay, and that's it, paid. So that is the Lightning Network in action. So it's a really cool technology, and if you're familiar with Bitcoin, you'll know that your Bitcoin transactions take significantly longer. So this is a great way to send Bitcoin using the Lightning Network. It's super fast, super quick, super easy. So I'm not going to continue uh, on with the game. I've played it. I'm not very good. I got around about 5,000, which I felt like was good, but the total score was 20,000 or something for that day. Um, but what I am going to show you is setting up um, the Eclair wallet on your mobile phone, how to get set up and started with that. So basically you guys can use it for sending and uh, receiving lightning transactions. So um, let's get on with the, uh, the tutorial. How to install the Eclair wallet on your Android device. Also, just to point out, this app is also available on um, Apple iOS as well. So for Android, you just want to open up your Google Play Store and search for, it's called Eclair Mobile. Eclair Mobile. Download and install that app. So I've already initialized it, but for you guys, uh, what it's going to prompt you to do is um, firstly you're going to create a wallet seed phrase so it's a 12 word seed phrase and you just want to manually write that down um, in a notepad or somewhere and keep that safe. The next thing it's going to ask you to do is to create a six digit pin number so you want to create that and uh, make a note of that somewhere as well um, if your memory is particularly bad. Once you've done those two things the wallet will restart and then you can log in for the very first time. So once you've logged in, you're going to see some information that looks a little bit like this. So I'll try and um, just break down a few of the areas. There's only three main sections. So if we swipe or tab over, you can see this is your Bitcoin address. So this is uh, the address that you send Bitcoin to your Eclair wallet. So if you've got another, say you've got a blockchain info address or a Coinbase wallet, you scan this QR code or use the address at the bottom, and that's how you send Bitcoin to the device. So you want to do that first before you can make any Bitcoin or Lightning transactions. Uh, just so you guys know, you'll see this no backup is flashing in the top left hand side. All that means is it's a Google Drive backup for your uh, Lightning channels. Um, I've got that set to off. Um, that's not something that I would need and you guys probably won't need it either to be honest unless you're creating lots of channels. So the next tab is transaction history. You can see I've got some various transactions here. So this very first one at the bottom is kind of the initial uh, crediting of the account. So I sent uh, some Bitcoin to the wallet. From there, I created a channel. And then from that point, I created um, two Lightning uh, payments. So the next tab is this Lightning channel. So what you want to do with the Lightning network, the way it works is you have um, payment channels or kind of bridges and your um, your payments kind of funnel through these um, connections and that's how they get connected very quickly. I know that's not a great explanation for it, but um, for the purposes of this video, I think it, it it's okay to go with that. Just assume that it's uh, just connections from one node to another. So what you want to do is once you've credited your account, um, I just started off with a test amount. I credited my account with like $10 and I recommend you do um, something like that the same. Then you want to create a lightning channel so you can create as many or as few channels as you want, but to create a channel, you click on this little plus button on the bottom here. 
And then I created a channel to this async node, which is the creators of this wallet. You can also paste a node URI, you can scan a node your, um, like QR code, or you can pick a random node. I would recommend just using one node to start off with um, because it does use some funds. When you create a new Lightning channel, effectively your funds kind of get put into like an escrow and you can't get those funds back until you close um, that channel. So bear that in mind. So then the next option is to send a payment. So if you could just go to transaction history, by the way, I'll show you this because it took me a while to find it. So on the other tabs, it's not obvious where you send the transactions out. So you go to transaction history, then if you click the little um, arrow, you can either show someone a payment request, which is how you would receive a transaction, um, a lightning transaction, or you can scan a payment request. So if you just use that, you can kind of see that's how it works. And you just scan the QR code for the Lightning channel and then it will pay. Uh, with the Lightning uh, payments as well, when you scan the QR code, the, the payment amount, where it's going to, there's kind of like a memo tab. All that's kind of pre-filled for you so you don't have to manually enter um, the payment amount and stuff. So it's quite simple um, to use. So what I'll do now is I'll just kind of uh, refresh the uh, monitor where I showed you the Space Invaders and I'll just show you how that whole sort of process works again um, so you can kind of get started with that. So I've refreshed the browser. So this window should work. Hopefully that um, QR code hasn't expired. And then on the Eclair wallet, you can see that we're on the transaction history. So we press the little tab and then we scan the QR code and just bring it up so it goes in focus. Now you can see on the screen, it tells you how much you're sending, who's it going to, and there's like a payment description. So hopefully you can see all that, try and get it in focus a little bit, sorry. And then you just click pay or cancel. So go pay. And then you can see how quickly that goes through. So that is sending a lightning payment. Okay guys, so that's about it. So I just really wanted to share with you um, kind of the, the basics of using the Lightning Network. So how to get a Lightning wallet installed on your phone and how to use it to send and receive transactions. So it's pretty simple stuff really, but I just wanted to kind of run through the basics. Uh, one of the main reasons is I think that this technology, the Lightning Network, is going to be absolutely huge in the future. Um, it kind of really simplifies that whole process of um, sending Bitcoin transactions. And not only that, the most important feature is that it's fast. Compared to a Bitcoin transaction, this is, it is you know, it is called the Lightning Network and it is, it is quick. You would have seen in seconds, you know, you, pr you press it and it goes through like, I wouldn't say instantly, but you know, within a second or something like that. So compared to waiting for you know six confirmations on the Bitcoin blockchain, which takes you know up to an hour, it's it's um, fundamentally a massive change. So this is really going to be the future, I think. So I'll be doing more videos on the Lightning technology in the future, um, various kind of um, demonstrations and how to set up nodes and um, how to receive payments, use it for payment uh, transactions, all that sort of stuff as well. So I'll be doing more Lightning stuff in the future. Uh, if there's anything that you particularly want to see, then please let me know and I'll try and get those uh, things covered for you. So that's it for this one. Give it a like if you did like it, or if you didn't like it, let me know. Uh, if you do like this type of content, um, make sure you're a subscriber because I do put out content like this all around the uh, crypto uh, sphere or uh, crypto technologies. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Well, I've paid for it, so I might as well have a quick go of Space Invaders. Let's go for it. Uh, just a very quick game. So we uh, use the arrow keys, dodge the bombs, and we use the space to fire. And uh, I did realize, I played it once before, you can actually hold your, uh, you can hold your finger on the uh, space and it just fires your uh, little missiles, whatever they're called, bullets. I don't know, since space it wouldn't be bullets, would it? Definitely firing the missiles. So, okay, so this is what Space Invaders is like. So this is not on the blockchain. The game is not on the blockchain, but just the transaction is. But you can see how easy it is to, uh, you know, send your transaction and get started with this. So if you guys are interested, uh, there is like a daily prize. Whoever gets the highest score um, gets to keep all the bounty that's been created for that day. Um, I wasn't even close. I got to like level 10 and I wasn't even close. So 
you need to be playing this uh, at expert level, I'd say, to have a chance at winning. Okay, guys, so you can see what Space Invaders is like uh, after making our payment using the Bitcoin uh, Lightning Network.